So yesterday, Seth has posted a pretty funny video, Why the Beef Exists. And I thought, uh, you know what? what? We should all do uh, a Why the Beef it Exists video. <laughs> Just tell a story time. Stories about Max. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Um, I make it a point when I do videos, I never mention names. Uh, I try not to make it personal. I try to be as general as possible. But, yeah, you guys, you know, I thought... There's enough of you who are asking that have no idea what the hell we're talking about when we say trolls or internet beefs. So that I warranted, you know, a quick video just kind of going over what the hell I'm talking about. So, uh, COVID-19 locks the gyms down. Was that 2019? Is that right? right? And uh, I started training at home. So, I created a YouTube channel. And YouTube kind of became my de facto training partner. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, Max was one of my first subs. And uh, Max, Bobby, uh, a couple others. Y'all know who you are. But uh, for, and uh, I kind of get introduced to this, we'll call it a, like he refers to it as community, but really, what is YouTube? I mean, YouTube is a community. Uh, I think the way it works, though, is the algorithm, like depending on who you talk to, what videos you like, who you respond to, kind of ties everybody together so then it's you start getting affiliated or associated with these little clicks these YouTube clicks and for all you new channels that uh, <laughs> are stuck in this hell bubble that we're all in <laughs> oh, God help you <laughs> so wh why is that funny um, Max warned me about who to stay away from uh, don't talk to this guy, he's bad. Don't talk to that guy, he's full of crap. And it all started with uh, Alan. Alan's a, a, a master's lifter. Uh, he's, a, he's older than me. I think he's got me by seven or eight years, we'll say. And uh, he was warning me about how awful this guy was. And all I, all I did was respond to a comment where this guy said that he had a training certificate from the from a powerlifting certificate. And me being a power lifter and a certified USPA strength coach, I made a comment like, that's stupid, that doesn't exist, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Or any, oh, what did I say? Something like anybody can get one of those. You go to a seminar, pay your money, and you're a coach. Whatever, bad. It is, it's, it's really easy to get. I mean, if you know anything about lifting, you can go get certified over, you know, it's not hard to get that credential. And I believe Alan took, a, right, rightfully so, took offense to that, and... I had no idea who was reading or seeing these comments, but it kind of got me into this situation where I was getting attract, uh, attacked by trolls. So this guy named, was it DT? He made a comment about my squat depth and I told the guy I didn't give a crap and get the guy went nuts. It was, like, it was insane how upset he was that I didn't care about his comments. So he was trolling me pretty hard. And I just started paying attention about who was friends with who. And I think Dean Malenga was friends with this guy. DT was friends with that guy. Alan's friends with They were all tied together. And all I, and then, you know, Max told me, yeah, they all belong to this Discord group. The Discord is evil. Stay away from them. So I kind of started noting everybody that was in this Discord group. And I thought, yeah, those guys are bad. They're out to get everyone. But I'm not a complete moron. Now, I'm not saying I'm a smart man. Let's get that out there right now. I'm not. I'm a dummy. But I'm not a complete idiot. So I started paying attention because things weren't adding up. I would watch Max do these videos where he'd go on these tirades about Dean Malenga. Dean is evil. And I knew this. Stay away from Dean. I'm not going to be friends with that guy ever. No, he's one of the trolls. But then I noticed, you know, he'd say, make a video. Tell him, Dean, shut up. Don't talk about me. Don't mention me ever again or I'll come out there and kick your butt or whatever. And then Dean wouldn't make any videos for a while. And I noticed if, if Dean went a few days without mentioning Max, Max would make a video mentioning him. And I started noticing that with all of those guys, if nobody brought him up, he would bring them up. So Max was creating it, and I've known this for a long time, but I always defended Max. Why? Well, because up to that point, he had never said a bad word about me to my knowledge, and I'm not going to 
take sides. I don't just decide you're not my friend because someone else doesn't like you. He didn't do anything to me, so of course I'll defend him. Until the one day, I just kind of got sick of the, his nonsense and I made a comment criticizing him and he lost his mind. He went on this tirade, he made all these videos about me and it was hilarious. Man, so <laughs> I've been kind of messing with him ever since. So what I'll do is I won't make a video, I won't mention his name, but I'll infer things. And I will comment on other people's videos, but I won't say names specifically. I don't think I, maybe I have, I don't know, who knows. Maybe you can find one, take a screenshot. But I, I, I plant little bombs, you know, I'll just make a comment, like, he, 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 just to kind of put it out there. And then I wait. And then sure enough, a day later, he's making videos about me. It's, it's great. It's great that you're that easy to set off. And I get tons of joy. I, I know it's a guilty pleasure. I, but I will say this. Max is the biggest liar I've ever met in my life. He lies about his lifts. He lies about his weight. He lies about everything. He lies about people specifically. Like some of the rhetoric that you talk about other people. Like what did you say about me the other day? You said that I said taking steroids doesn't help with strength. Well, okay, why would I ever say that? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And I would not say something that's stupid. And, you know, I would challenge you to go... I have all my videos. They're all... Every one I've ever made is up there. I would actually challenge you to go find where I said that. You, it didn't happen. Uh, and he, he's just blatant lies. He, he lied about me saying I was a world record holder. I never said that. Now, I am ranked number one. Ranking is not the same as records. And any idiot could tell you that. But since you're not a power lifter and you don't know how power lifting works, you don't know what you're talking about. So you think people are talking about things that you don't understand. Other power lifters know what I'm talking about when I tell them I'm ranked number one in my weight class for weight and age. That's like a no brainer. They're like, oh, okay, he's in, he competes at 220 in the master's division. And he's ranked number one. Oh, cool. You're a moron, so you think I'm talking about records, and then you think I'm lying about them. Um, now, back in, uh, I want to say when I was still na uh, natural, I did actually have the national records in the USPA in their tested division for all of six months, and then some guy beat me, and I'm like, oh, I'm never going to catch that guy. Since then, I've been competing in the untested division. Uh, I, I don't know, if you guys want to, like, uh, they are constantly bagging on like uh, testosterone replacement therapy, using steroids, that kind of thing. Personally, I don't see why it matters. It's really whose business is it? It's like between you and your doctor and whatever you want to do. And I also don't see steroids necessarily as a bad thing. And they, they can be quite helpful. Like um, I think Peyton Manning, uh, when he got accused of, of using steroids and uh, human growth hormone when he broke his neck and he came back for that last season and I'm like yeah but the guy's in his 40s and that's how he makes his money like you know it's, think of those situations like that where uh, steroid use is actually super beneficial and there's like some evidence to suggest that a couple cycles a year if done properly can actually have enormous healing benefits for tendons and other there's, this is what I'm going to say about steroids if you're an all or nothing person when it comes to the use of modern medicine, that's your issue. Like, I don't see it as derogatory if you accuse me of using something. Like, okay, what's your point is what I would say to you. Um, I don't know. For the longest time, Max, you're, I watched you and your stupid lists, and I've known you've been... You had a secret hate boner for me for a long time, but I never said anything bad about you and I defended you. And it's like you were almost waiting for me to uh, say something so that you could finally show your true colors. Because you used to point out uh, lifters, you would do shout outs to these guys that could bench 400 or 5 pounds. And you had this list of guys that could bench 405 and you never once mentioned my name. And I was hitting that weekly for months. Uh, I did injure my shoulder. I had a setback, and now I'm kind of starting over on the bench, but I'm already back up to 360, 370, so as long as I stay healthy, I think I'll get that back no problem, but it's neither here nor there, because I 
never have been, nor will I ever be competing with you personally. I don't care what you can or can't lift. I don't give a shit. I'm just going to say you're a liar because you've never talked about your weight. And I will say this, having 100 pounds on somebody is an enormous advantage. And I would even just go so far as to say it, you get way more advantage from that fat you're carrying around than anyone does from a cycle of steroids. I, for sure. I, I mean, hey, does any, if anybody disagrees with that, hit me up in the comments. We can discuss that. I think that's a debatable thing. Um, all I'm saying is, like, just tell it like it is. You know, you don't need to lie about me. Uh, I'm open and transparent about everything. Anybody who wants to know anything about it, what, what I'm using now, what I will be using, what I have used, or what I think about it, ask me. I, I, it's not a big deal. Like, I don't care. I don't see it as all or nothing it's not good or bad in my estimation it is what it is it's what you decide to do i'm not competing with other youtube people to see who the best at exercising is i am training to compete i want to be the best 40 to what is it 44 to 49 to 20 in the world will i ever achieve that no i only got one more year and i'm not going to catch the guys that are like at the very top but you know what i'm gonna try that's what I give a shit about. You know, you were bagging on, uh, what was it, Seppis? He had a 650-pound squat, and you were bagging on him for using wraps, saying it's not raw. Like, okay, when he competes with wraps on, that is a different classification, and he's ranked against other lifters with wraps on. So if he has that record, he's not going up against raw lifters. It's called classic raw. That's another thing you would know if you knew anything about powerlifting. There's different categories depending on what gear you use. There's raw, there's classic raw, and then there's geared lifting. He would fall under classic raw. So if Cephas and I competed, I would be a raw lifter because I'm using knee sleeves. He would be classic raw because he has knee wraps. So let's just say the wraps add 50 pounds to his squat. Let's just say that's a pretty good amount, but it's doable. I've seen it. So take off 50 pounds, and he's still got, what, a 600-pound squat, which is something you've never even... I don't even think you could put that on your back and walk out with it. You don't do these lifts. You don't compete. You barely do one lift well, and it, it's not even an elite-level lift because of how much you weigh. And you talk so much crap about people, and, they, and we have nothing to do with you, nor you with us. You're just some dude that's hollering at people. You know, here's what I, I want you to keep doing what you're doing, though, because I have a, I suspect that because of you, anybody who's ever been curious about one of us, probably, like, check this out to see who's this asshole he's talking about. And then they're like, oh, that guy's actually a really good lifter. I don't know what this, you know, and then we get subscribers out of it. So you're probably helping generate traffic. And, dude, stop with the stupid idle threats. Like, you're going to do anything to anybody. And honestly, even if you could, if, if you could take someone's channel down, or you could hurt their job, or you could do something that damages them, what kind of a sociopath does that make you over a YouTube channel? Are you such a small man that you would actually try to hurt somebody because of your feelings? Dude, you talk so much crap about so many people, and you, I don't even know how you can look in the mirror and call yourself a real man, to be honest with you. I ain't mad at you, though. <laughs> That's the whole thing. I I thoroughly enjoy this. You know I make comments just to see what you'll do, and you never let me down. You never let me down, man. I love you, brother. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep talking all the crap you want. Keep making lies. Everybody who knows, knows you're full of crap. And what else can I say? And to, the other, to all the other guys... Now you know, that's the explanation. I don't know what to tell you. Just the guy that's been in my life and he's there in the background and uh, now you know who I'm talking about when I say internet trolls. There you go. Merry Christmas.